back at Fern Cliff, Illinois State Park. The Cub Scout pack is camping here this weekend. So I figured while I'm getting ready to go out on my next outing, uh, after stopping at the barbecue on the river in Paducah, I'll swing by for a little visit. It's pretty lake, really pretty. Alright, we are at the big Rocky Hollow Trail. And uh, uh, somebody's mode of transportation has been left behind. <laughs> pretty cool. The uh, scouts, uh, Cub Scouts anyways, are well ahead. I was staying back behind at the campsite talking with another leader. And, uh, yeah. They are planning on having a big time this weekend, so, which is really good. I like the bluffs that are here. It's really pretty. We'll be walking among them pretty soon. I'm going to scuff my boots real quick. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Walking amongst some of the bluffs. Very cool. This is a little box canyon. main trail leads into ending with a waterfall but there's no water today just like the last time I was here at Fern Cliff but this is just gorgeous 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 feature in the rock there. Yeah, go through the little tunnel. Yeah, my mom used to bring us up here eons ago. Probably a good reason why I like the outdoors as much as I do. Especially when we'd come to this spot. That'd be a little billy goat. <laughs> Got up on top. And went beyond where the waterfall comes down over here. That was fun. It's always nice to see what's just beyond the edge, you know? What's over that horizon? I can hear the Cub Scout pack. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that cool? Water would trickle down through here. I'm not sure if it'd be if enough water, it'd be a waterfall, but yeah, that would be awesome. A lot cooler right here, that's for sure.
All right. Getting to the main part here. Yeah, this bridge ain't going nowhere. But. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice little box canyon. You can climb up and then go across if you're being very careful and head over there. So, but yeah. And then the, the waterfall that is here. Oh, somebody's not happy. Whoa, very upset. But, uh, Waterfall would come down, splash there, fill up the... Hmm. But anyhow, we'll get over to the other side. Okay, so, like Peter Cave at Jackson Hole, we got a giant alcove behind the waterfall. Let's go check it out. Normally this is all water right here. A big pool of it. Not today. Big area. Not as big as Peter's Cave, but still awesome and indeed. The crying was because of a little green snake. It was in its death throes. It was underneath some leaves. Somebody stepped on it. That would almost be really cool to get up on top and then get right up there since there's no water flowing. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. I've been up here once before. And of course, there was water flowing through here. Hello, Mr. Froggy. Not currently. Uh. Yeah, look at all them frogs move. Okay. Give me a moment. All right, Mr. Steve, you're staying here. Okay. Very cool.
pretty cool. Bone dry, except for that little bit of water. Excuse the blockage. Uh, water there, but it's not much of a step to get to the dry area and then super easy egress in and out right there. Much better than that egress there, which is doable, but. Okay. On to the next part, eh? You hear that? Nature is intended. Every so often you can hear a frog do a quick croak down in the water below. From the sounds of him, he's a good sized one. Just for a little bit of rain, huh? Let's get another look. Yeah, I hear you, mosquito. Looks like I'll be a little delayed. Just got a text message from uh, one of the cub leaders and uh, 2018 girl leaders. Uh, they're gonna take the Arrow Light den on a longer hike, letting them choose while I'm still here in uh, the hollow here. Boy, it's pretty, isn't it? And uh, I was asking to see which trail that they were going to go on. Don't know yet. I suggested the river to river because it runs through. Yeah. That's a little bit longer than I'm sure they're anticipating. <laughs> you shall not pass. Gotta right. do that, you know? Well, I got the text message back that they want to do Hawk's Cave Trail. That's cool. Since I'm right here. And that was my message back. Oh, just started. So they're on the trail. So, cool beans. I'll probably catch up to them pretty quick, so. Anyhow, starting to <laughs> Hawks Cave Trail is next. And uh, what's the other one? Alright. Ran into a familiar face with the River to River Trail Society. And then uh, I was like, I gotta beat feet. I gotta catch up with these weeblows. Anyways. Here we are, and there they are. Oh, some of them had their lights out, so which is cool. All right, hey, so gorgeous. I can't wait for fall. Yeah. 
wander through here. Duck my head. Yeah. <clears throat> Very cool. Boy, that's a good grape pair. Surely not all those are weed blows. <laughs> all right, let me get over there. Let's get up top here. Bears, be careful. <laughs> really good view. <laughs> right, we're doing some little it goes below her in here. Yeah. Let's see if we can squeeze my old goat self through here. There we go. Yeah, I still have my head on. They're there for emergencies, not for little slips and bumps and bruises. Alright. It's for like an emergency. There goes Bill and his folks. You scraped your knee, big wood. Where are they? Ah, somebody's using their one of their six essentials, huh? <laughs> Pretty big space, using Jason there for scale across the way. He's a cub master of the pack. Alright, well, a little off trail. But we'll walk back towards Hawk's Cave here. Cool rock. Hmm, I'm trying to decide whether the troop is quieter or the pack's quieter. It's pretty even right now. Very cool. All right, second thought, troops quieter. Neat coloration on the rock there. Well, it's a lot later than I anticipated, but I am here at Dutchman Lake. Uh, I'm gonna go westward some and see if I can find a camping spot that I could set up at and yeah spend the night out here uh, there was a lot of folks there with the pack so but coming here was my intention for the day or for this outing so yeah so let me get boogie woogie in and uh, trying to find a spot Okay. All right, guys. Sorry I didn't feel much uh, from starting out on the lake, but uh, it got dark and it's 
quite dark now. It's 10.30. But anyhow, I'm uh, feeling quite a bit tired. And I'm heading to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. And hopefully we'll have a pretty sunrise on the lake. Kind of what I'm hoping for. Anyways, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Well, it's 7 o'clock right now. Had a great night's sleep. Other than for some of the owls that started hooting up and uh, some coyotes howling a little bit, but uh, they were far off. But, um, yeah, I just set up a little north of where the River to River Trail goes. Of course, it's going to be on the back side a little bit further south where we're at right now. But, uh, yeah, there are some fish in this lake here, um, and they were going for the bugs last night, <laughs> and uh, there's some whoppers. Um, it sounded like somebody threw a large rock into the water, you know, sploosh, um, and I left my fishing poles back at the car. That's a smart move, Carrie. But anyways... I'm going to get some go-go uh, juice going here, uh, a.k.a. coffee, and uh, get this day started. Thought I'd come down to the lake while the coffee's brewing. Good and calm. a spot to pull off to where I could get a nice footing, you know, um, without it being like really marshy and shallow, having to step through a lot of muck like over there, because I wanted to camp on that side, that way I'd try to get the sunrise, you know. Um, but I really didn't want to have to walk through a bunch of muck. So, anyway. Here. Tied up to there. And marched up the hill. So. You can see. Remnants of somebody's beverage from previous days. So I'll collect that before I leave. Anyways. like it's gonna be a pretty day well I climbed the hill and when I saw Bill Gilmore yesterday uh, at Fern Cliff he had mentioned you know organizing another work day uh, primarily gonna be here at Dutchman Lake uh, and the gentleman had traversed it reported a lot of trees being down and I got lost a little bit. I uh, couldn't find the trail. Well, there, yeah, there's some trees down, but he said it was in a pine area. So, but anyways, looks like I found the trail here. I didn't see any markers just yet, but uh, I'll walk it for a little bit and see what I can find. Uh, this is a trail that people have been deviating on to. Actual trails a little bit further over that way right in that pine grove area. Ciao. Let's go take a look. See if we can get over there. through here there have been a lot of down trees almost in a straight line yeah this 
So yeah, I could see why somebody might not be able to find the trail for a little bit. For sure, if this is the spot. Certainly in a pine grove. It's got a decent size to it. And there's several down trees right here. Alrighty, this could be it. I'll look around a little more. Okay, this is the trail here. And uh, I just, the debris field I was at is just right over there. But this is the trail right here. I checked my map. This is the river to river trail running through here. And yes, there is tree downage through this area not traversed a lot you don't really see the uh, actual trail you know people traversing through but <clears throat> I saw that signage right there where or evidence of somebody walking through this area I haven't seen any of the signs indicating that it's a trail to follow so but uh, according to my map trail I am standing on it right now Yep. Oh yeah. There's a few more beyond, so. Okay. Yeah. Good sized trees. Must have had a microburst or something right here. Okay, okay. I walked a little further west. Along the trail, and there's another area. It looks like a microburst hit. Um, and there's a lot of more down trees in this vicinity. So, yeah. <clears throat> and it's overgrown quite well, too. Lovely. Anyways, now I'm going to go back to camp. <laughs> well, I made it back to camp, and I'm glad of one thing. These needles weren't the uh, stronger variety. So, they're just irritants right now because they're all stuck to my britches. Uh, both legs. <laughs> eh, some of my torso, but. Alright, I'll pick myself clean for a little bit and I'll start packing camp up. <laughs> Ah, well, that was fun.
things a little different today. Not a hard charge in it. Just kind of taking it easy. Listen to nature. Plus, I wanted to see how far back it could get on the lake. Apparently, that was that. There's a little tributary going another direction, but it's got blockage as well. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to meander my way back to the Via Cal and take some photos and whatnot along the way. Couldn't do that last night. So, kind of gaining an appreciation for Dutchman Lake during the daytime. And set it at night with my headlamp on and mosquitoes and all the other bugs in my face. I didn't have a high opinion of that last night. Took, um, I'd say about 40 minutes. Uh, doinked around a little bit uh, from the 
paddle from one end to the boat dock or boat landing um, here at Dutchman. Uh, so it was a good paddle, consistent paddle, and uh, yeah, it's pretty during the daylight, much. Yeah, was, I didn't have a whole lot of good feelings when I had my headlamp on and the bugs in my face. No, most certainly not. But I enjoyed it. This is a lake that I'll need to come back and go fish at because there's some fish back yonder way. So, but anyhow. Get ready to wrap it all up here, get the kayak on top, and DD Mao back home. So, we'll see you guys on the next go around, alright?